Hey. Are we at the doctor? At the doctor. Four month old appointment. Four month old appointment for Miss Avery. She am 13.7 pounds. I'm so big. I'm so big. <laughs> Avery Brin! Avery Brin! Say hi! We're back from the doctor. Avery did so good. She got two shots. They're right here. You can see her band-aids. She got a My Little Pony and a Spider-Man. I and mean, then she got one that she had to drink. And she didn't know what to think about that. But she did drink it, huh? Hello. Say hi, Gray. I was having fun with Grams. Yeah, great. My mom came over and babysat the boys so I could take Avery to her appointment this morning without the boys, which was really, really nice. Yes, we are back from Avery's appointment. So overall, it went pretty well. Um, Avery is tiny still, but growing on the right um, growth curves. She's like in the 20 like middle 20th percentile for all of like height, weight, and head circumference. They're all like 25th percentile for all of those. So she's basically right on track, but she's just really, really tiny, especially compared to the two boys at her age. Concerns for Avery, she's smiling at me. Concerns, she's not laughing yet. Both of my boys were laughing by now. Even Porter, who was a serious baby and we could not get him to laugh for the life of us. We He was laughing by now. So I brought that up, but he didn't seem too concerned yet. He said give it a month, another month or so. Hopefully she'll start. And she like just recently started using her voice and like humming, I guess is what I would use as the term. It's like I showed you guys yes, uh, the last vlog, which was yesterday. So I'm hoping that it comes. Um, maybe it's just the fact that she's got two older brothers who talk way more than they need to and so she doesn't feel like she needs to talk so we'll see um the biggest concern that came up is avery's head so she's always had kind of a funky head when she was first born they ultrasound her head because they were worried about like her growth plates in her head and those turned out fine um, but she still has a severe bulge in the front, which the doctor didn't seem too concerned about. He said, like, she'll grow into it. But on the back of her head, there's a bit of a flat spot that has formed. I don't know if it's like I just haven't held her enough. She loves being on her back, so we put her on her back all the time. Um, I've been doing a little bit of research that said that some babies, when they lay on their backs to sleep, they just like it in a certain way. And some babies just develop it I guess it's a lot more common than you think so he is recommending us to get a helmet evaluation so we're gonna I'm waiting for them to call me and then I guess we'll go get her evaluated for a helmet which is crazy I never thought I'd have a kid with a helmet but if it helps her skull form that's great I did just read an article I don't know how true it is but it was by some doctor somewhere that said that Babies that have that got the helmet and then babies that didn't get the helmet, like eventually once they become older, like the head just kind of becomes like rounds out normally. But if they wear a helmet, like it just rounds out faster. Um, but like uh, obviously as the baby gets older, like they start sit sitting up and they don't like lay on their back as much. And so as their head grows, it just naturally rounds out. But anything that the doctor recommends like I'm gonna do it so we will get her evaluated for a helmet and go on that adventure another concern with Avery is she's always kind of had gunk in her eyes when she was first born it was super bad they were crusty all the time she had eye burgers all the time we had to like constantly get them out from her eyelashes and her eyelids and as she's gotten older, it's gotten better. Her one eye, it's completely gone. But the other eye, it still gets gunky from time to time. And so he did say that if by the next appointment, when she's six months old, if she still has eye gunk problems, that he would refer us to an ophthalmologist and get her tear duct flushed out because it could be blocked, which I guess is a common problem in babies. But 
of course with Avery she has to have all the extra problems so that's on our radar as well so not a smooth sailing appointment but she's hitting all her milestones which is good and she's hitting her growth just fine only thing is her head so I'll keep you guys updated on the whole head adventure I know hardly anything about helmets and flat head syndrome and anything like that because we've never dealt with it before so this will be a learning curve for me as much as any of you so I will definitely keep you updated on that but for now um Porter's taking a nap I'm just playing with Avery and then she'll take a nap and then I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of today so I'll just pull out my camera here and there depending on what we do the boys already did more of the bounce house um this morning they were doing it last night they love that bounce house they, and it gets out their energy a lot which is really nice so maybe we'll do more of that this afternoon what are you doing how did you get the wipes under your legs huh what do you think say i'm a diva and i like to have all the extra problems yeah <laughs> Fala, <laughs> fala,